Hey, thanks for joining us for our last live stream of the day here. Uh, got Missy with me right here. Thank you for having me. <laughs> Always good to have you out here, Missy. Uh, in this one, what we're going to do is we're going to unbox and dial in a Chiado E5 Pro. It's a great grinder here, uh, and it's, you know, a really good espresso-focused grinder that uh, does everything you ask it to, really. Awesome. So. Yeah, it's got 64 millimeter burrs, uh, 300 watt motor, and is basically a lot like the E5P. Right. Uh, with Except the uh, additional we'll, feature. Yeah, we'll, we'll, we'll get into that a little bit later. And uh, I do want to mention that this is an interactive presentation. That's why we have Mark and Ellie back there. Mark's directing the show. Ellie will field all your questions, get them up to me. Thank you guys so much for joining us. And uh, you know what? I say we just get to it. Yeah, let's you open know. it up. We were debating on whether or not we wanted to pre-cut it, and we decided, you know what, let's cut it on air. Leave it sealed. Awesome. And so, you know what, I think I might actually take this down. I'm sorry, Mark. And so we've got, oh gosh, there's our, there's our gorgeous little hopper. Oh, and we've got our tray, ma our manual and parts. Oh, and parts. Manual and, and parts. I'm just, I'm just gonna take this right out, Ellie. Not Ellie, Missy. But thank. But I'll tell you that too, Ellie. Tell me how you really feel. Oh Brian. my gosh. It's not. Oh, like it's we... really in there snug. They do a great job packaging these. <laughs> there we go. Now I should be able to get it. Ah! Oh my gosh. So you know, I wish everything was packaged this well because that was. That was really in there nice and snug. Nice and snug. And so what do we have there, Missy? This is what our, it came with. our user manual, which you'll notice that it does say E5P. That is going to apply to this grinder because it is similar to the E5P with one difference. Uh, and that yep. difference is going to be clear once we get this yeah. off of here. And we've got our hopper. We've got a uh, grounds tray, which I love. Keeps your, keeps your countertop a little clean. Yeah. And uh, oh, Whoa. goodness me! I caught it. That's what well, that was. You know, you, if if you didn't see it live, you wouldn't have believed it. Right. You know what? This is, and that's sharp looking. So I, I do want to mention real quick. It does have a little bit of film on the top here. It makes it look a little pink. I'm just going to peel that off because I don't like that pink. There we go. There we go. Much much better. We've got our manual with every language you can think of. Holy so moly. you can find the English and check that out, <laughs> or whatever. Language or watch you this speak, video. <laughs> you know, but yeah. So let's just go ahead and get started. You, you know, put the hopper on, put the lid on, put the tray on. Installed. Installed. And that's it. The end of video. See you guys later. Thank you so much. <laughs> no, but, but let's it's get it dialed in. So we're gonna, of course, use our Cremo Wave. If you've watched any of our videos, you know that this is our espresso of choice. And yeah. so, actually, you know what? Before I, for, before I do that, I, I want to take a moment and do something. Whenever you get a new grinder, a great way to get it in a range where you're looking for, uh, you know, espresso is going to be almost as fine as you can get any grinder. And so, to find out how fine you can get it, luckily enough on this grinder, you can get to burr touch. Okay. And that means that literally we can make it so that the burrs kind of skim each other. You don't want to actually like grind it in there because you could really damage the burrs, but you just want them to kind of, I like to say that they kiss. You want those burrs to kind of kiss. And you'll hear it. Yeah. And yeah. that's, and hopefully the, the microphone will pick it up, but you know, that's what I'm going to do right now. I'm going to, oh my gosh, it's so beautifully quiet. I haven't it's had a new quiet. one of these ever. You want me to press it? Yeah. If you wouldn't mind just press and holding that, and then I'm going to keep fining it up. I'm going to try and get my microphone closer here. Right there. So you can sort of hear that. I don't know if you yeah. heard that. It's like a, yep. And so you can let go. But there, that was burr touch. And so mm -hmm. I know that now that's as, that's as fine as it can possibly get. And, you know, with an espresso, you want it to be a little coarser than that. And so what we're going to do is we're going to back it off, let's say, you know, about, you know, I don't know if you can see it on the, on the gauge here, but I went for about like, you know, if, if let's say touch was zero, the numbers don't really necessarily mean anything. They're just sort of a reference point. Mm -hmm. But let's say if bird touch was zero, I just moved it a half. So, 
uh, that's, and that's where I'm going to start. And it's best to do that without any beans, like on the hopper, in the hopper, on the burrs. Get it set up first. So. And whenever we're adjusting finer, once we have it all set up, we right. always want the grinder to be running. Right, of course. Yeah. If, if, there's burrs, if there's beans on the burrs and you're going finer, you always want it to, the burrs to be spinning if you're going finer, or else you might crush the, bur the beans and then you get a huge mess in there and it's not great. Yeah. But uh, so let's, let's toss some of our beautiful crema wave coffee on here. I'm, you know what? Let's just go all the way. Yeah. And then when we grind it, um, are we going to take a look at it first or just start going for it? What do you think? You know, I, I, you know, you, you can't grind without looking at it. Okay. So, <laughs> so we, yeah. we are going to take a look at it as we're doing it. Well, let, let's open up the, you know, Hot open fire. up the, I, I like to call that the shutter. I don't know, I don't know what the actual term for it is, but that's what I call it. Yeah. And so that's all open now. The I, bean I, hopper stopper. The bean hopper stopper. That's you know, official name. What else? What else <laughs> could we ask for? And I do want to notice real quick that that the hopper on this uh, can fit. I think it's almost twelve ounces of coffee in there. So it's yeah. almost like an entire. Like if you go to a specialty shop, they're going to give you a twelve ounce bag of coffee. Mm -hmm. It fits almost that entire bag in there. So that's very very useful, especially for a grinder of this quality. So uh, for dialing in purposes, I'm going to use a dosing cup. Uh, so I have this Akaya one right here. Um, and I have a scale because uh, no time dosing on this grinder, which you mm -hmm. might see on something like the E6P, mm -hmm. which is sort of uh, this grinder's uh, older mm -hmm. brother, let's yeah. say. Um, and that would have two time dosing options, but this one is a pure manual. Yes. Um, and so let's, you know, I'm going to get, I, I, I've been playing around with 18 and a half gram dose because that's the size mm -hmm. of the basket that I'm using here on our okay. Betsera BZ13DE. Yeah. And so let's get that in there and take a look at what the beans look like. Yeah, we're going to look for it to get around like um, people say either between powdered sugar and salt. I would also say you want it coarser than sand. Or I'm sorry, finer than sand and a little bit kind of more coarse than dirt. So we're looking for it to look kind of like a powdery dirt right. visually. And so I can tell you already and it's important to note that when you first start it up, you, it's going to take that long. Uh, you're not going to get grounds out immediately. It kind of has to get all through the grinding chamber first. This is not a single dosing grinder. It is not designed for it. Uh, so the, the beans need that that extra pressure to push them through. Mm -hmm. I can tell you already, uh, you know, uh, I know how tough this is to see these things, but uh, you know, I can tell you already just by looking at that, that, that is going to be too fine because mm -hmm. we've got big old boulders yeah. and it is just clumping like literally like you can't, it is very, 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 very fine. Yeah. So no point in even trying that because I mean, that's it's like almost staining Turkish. my yeah. hands. <laughs> So yeah. like that's how fine it is. It is going in like the, the fingerprint. My my fingerprints. So yeah. very 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 fine. Uh, so we're gonna have to coarsen that up a little bit all, again already. What okay. do you think? Yeah, I agree. Let's go. Mm, maybe another. Two. Let's go to one and I mean. Oh, so we did a pretty. We did a fairly big adjustment. So right. Then we so can yeah. So I moved it from where was it? A half. Yeah. To to three quarters uh, on the dial. So when you're doing a move like that, you always want to purge, uh, which is what we're going to do anyway. Yeah, because there's um, additional grounds in there. So we're just getting out a little bit here that would be the same grind size um, as we just had. So we want to make sure that we have the new dose as the new grind size. Right. So that, that was a decent purge. I can tell you already, I'm feeling like this is still a little too fine. Uh, I, if you've watched Mark's videos, you know that you want it to sort of stick together, and this is just sticking together a little too well. Mm -hmm. um, but nevertheless, we're making progress, because I can tell just by looking at it. And I want to <laughs> take this moment to mention that when you have a new grinder, like there's, you know, people say seasoning the burrs. It's just sort of like a breaking in period of your grinder where you're mm -hmm. going to want to put a lot of coffee through it before it really kind of like catches its stride and really does exactly what you wanted of it 
every time you use it. And so right now, like I'm, I'm telling you right now, that it's an unfortunate thing, but it's going to take a couple shots uh, and a lot of grinds before you really kind of like get it dialed in and, and reliable. Um, and before I go again, I uh, want to take a quick question. Uh, do we have anything, Ellie? Yeah. Um, well, first, Itan said or asked how you guys were doing today. <laughs> <laughs> um, <laughs> but yeah, Marco asked, um, is the Chiado better than the Niche Duo? Great question. Great question. Uh, <laughs> both of them. The first one, uh, I'm doing great. I'm doing great too. Thank I, you for asking. You know, thank you for asking. Uh, it's it's. You know, it's it's a beautiful day here in, in Rochester, New York, uh, a little chilly, and that's kind of the way I like it. So, uh, but no, uh, no complaints so far today. Ha yeah. Having a pretty good time. Uh, yeah, pretty snow. Yeah. yeah. Christmas is right around the corner. <laughs> but so. in comparison to a niche duo, you know, we're going to get that question all the time. Mm -hmm. uh, niche duo is a single dose grinder. It is a little different. It has much larger burrs. This is a... Mm -hmm. 64 millimeter burr. Uh, the niche duo, I think, is 80, 83 now, um, if I remember correctly. So not necessarily apple. That's kind of apples and oranges. Yeah. I mean, it's it. Yeah, it, it it's it's a different grinder altogether. The the build is a little different. Chiato really makes uh, uh, commercial grade equipment, and that's yeah. what you're going to get for with every Chiato grinder. Yeah, I know we did have one of these uh, in a cafe as like their decaf grinder. Yeah. Um, so like it, it, yeah. it would be great for a small small cafe the the niche once again single dosing not you know i'm sure it does a great job grinding we don't have one here in the studio uh but it you know it's it's something that people are going to continue to compare all new grinders to um and you know you can't you know <laughs> yeah they're just different yeah, yeah they're, they're, they're just they're different. They're very different grinders um and they're going to perform differently mm -hmm. um but let's get back to yeah. So, did I course it? No, I haven't yet. I'm yeah. going to go all the way to one and an eighth. Cool. So, let's see what happens now. Purge. Yeah. Purge. This is already looking better. Yeah. Yeah, so you can grind into a dosing cup with these, but obviously it's kind of designed to grind into a portafilter, especially right. because as you can see right there on the portafilter fork, it does have a button here, which is what makes it different from the Chiato E5P. The E5 Pro is gonna have this button to punch in your portafilter, as well as the green button on the side. That's right. And so, yeah, let's actually take a dose now. Because I think that this, we could get a shot out of this. this. I think we're ready. Just by the visual of looking at it, I think that we're, it's possible. So I'm going to still go into my dosing cup. If, in fact, the drawer right that you're right in front of, there should be some pearls. Grab me a pearl, too. Thanks, Missy. So once again, I said, I, oh, goodness me. Uh, and there should be a spoon over here. Ah, uh, gosh. I think I may have seen it. That's a little there big. you go. You got it? Uh, oh. I don't know where it went. Oh, here it is. <laughs> there, we go. there you go. The I little had, spoon. I had a full soup spon. Uh, that's that's <laughs> a little much. Uh, this this one will be much better. A little teaspoon. There and we I go. just want to. That ground a lot faster than I was anticipating. But yeah. So let's do. I was looking for 18 and a half. Okay. 18 and a half. Cool. So, oh gosh. And when should right I now, grab a rag either? Gotcha. You know, we've got all day to prepare for these things and we <laughs> still screw it up. <laughs> but there we go. Okay. So we got our 18 and a half. We're right. gonna grind into there. Yeah, so I, you know, that that's already looking pretty good to me. W would you say that that Looks yeah. like a good espresso Looks good. burn size. I'm just going to level it out a little bit by tapping. Hit it with an actual leveler. Okay. And then hit it with my vitamin tamper. Vitamin tamper. And by looking at it tamped, I can tell you there's a good possibility we're still a little too fine. 
but let's give it a try. We want to give it a quick purge, our BZ13, because it is a heat exchanger, and sometimes even as good as it is at keeping its temperature, it does get a little hot. Yeah. So. Cooling flush just to be safe. Right. Awesome. And now, if somebody has never dialed in, what are we doing? So we're going to see how this pulls, and luckily enough, the BZ13 has a shot timer on it. Okay. And so we're looking, we put, did 18 and a half in for a double shot. I'm looking mm -hmm. for a double shot regular espresso. I'm looking for about 37 to 38 out. Okay. And look at that. Still choking. Like you said, looked a little <laughs> fine. You can, once, once, you, once you do it enough, mm -hmm. you can tell just by looking at it whether or not that one just had a nice, like, pure, clean surface. And so you know that's going to be, you know what? There's 30 seconds, and we got nothing. a whole zero grams <laughs> out. So, you know. Definitely coarser. Dialing in really is a lot of guessing and checking. Okay. And so, you know what? Yeah. That down. But this time, what we're going to do, as I, as I change it, then we'll actually Grind pull, into the port filter. Yeah, we'll grind directly into the port filter. But let's keep that warm. Okay. So. Let's see here. Now, if we were, we got zero out, so there's not really any reference to how quickly or slowly that was going to pull. Uh, I'm going to do, you know what, let's go big. Yeah. Let's go to one and a half. And when we're, when we're setting it coarser, we don't have to have the grinder on. That's right, because you're making the burrs further apart. Mm -hmm. And so there's, not, there's no chance of crushing yeah. a bean or anything like that between them. Real quick, do we have any other questions, Ellie? Yeah, Ben would like to know if that grinder is a flat burr or a conical grinder. Great question. Yeah, it has flat burrs and they are 64 millimeters. 64 millimeter steel burrs. Yes. A 300 watt motor. And something you'll notice as you're coarsening your grind is that it's going to start grinding a lot faster because obviously it's running into less resistance. Mm -hmm. So that really put out a lot quick. Mm -hmm. And I think we're, it's tough to say, but I think that might be okay. I don't know, yeah, oh wow, Mark, great job. Yeah. I'm looking at that there and that's looking. Yeah, looking a little more like dirt and less like yeah. a powdered sugar. <laughs> a little less like dirt and a little more like powdered sugar. You know what? I'm going to I'm going to go a little coarser still cuz quite frankly even with the the creme wave I like it a little fast. So even if that was right, I'm going to go a little coarser still. So Okay. It's a lot of guessing and checking. Yeah, and it's it's trial and error. Right. Um generally dialing in, it's that, you know, 2 to 1 ratio where you're going to like you said 18 and a half grams in and then we're getting we're getting that as our dry espresso dose, and then we're getting double that amount as our liquid espresso dose in right. grams in around 20 to 30 seconds. And so I'm going to take a moment here, and we're going to actually go straight into the portafilter and show off. You know, I, I think that Missy already showed it here, but this little notch right here is, is how you just push it in and the spouts on your portafilter. If you are using a spouted portafilter, uh, if, if you're using a spot, you know, a bottomless portafilter, you will use that green, green button. button on the side. Mm -hmm. did, did we ever get a shot of the green button, Mark? I don't know if we did. There uh, it is. I like the green, actually. It's, 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 it's a, you know, a good contrast to the rest of the machine, mm -hmm. you know? I wish that Chiara would do more things in green. I think it's, a, I think <laughs> it's really fun for them. Yeah. Do we have any other questions, Ellie? Real quick? Yeah, um, Erica would like to know what the difference is between that and the E6P. Yeah, great question. Right. Um, the E6P has uh, a screen on the top here that does timed grinding. So you could set it to grind for like, you know, 15 seconds or whatever once you got things dialed in. Whereas this one, this does not have any sort of screen here. Right. No time dosing options on this. It is 
you push and it grinds, you don't push and it stops. Yeah. Whereas with time dosing, you would have two options and you could do a single or a double or however you want to do it and mm -hmm. it will just automatically stop once it hits that time. Mm -hmm. And it's very accurate within those times too. Like the, the amount that you get out is, is phenomenal. Yeah. But uh, so we've, we've teared our scale on our, and you don't have to use a scale, but I, you know, for the sake of dialing in, I think that it's always more useful to have one. Yeah. Um, but yeah, let's yeah. go straight into the porta filter now. Really, any kitchen scale will do. Uh, fancy espresso scales are definitely nice. The Akayas are kind of best of the best, but it isn't something that you have to have if you don't want to. Right. You kind of want to fill it until it's full. Oh my gosh. Perfect. Mark, did you get that? <laughs> Look right on the money. That's that's pretty much right what I wanted to do. Awesome. So I'm just going to use, you know, you've certainly seen this this move if you've been following our live streams, a quick little finger distribution. Not that important because I'm using a, a leveler. Mm -hmm. All right, changing positions again. I like that. And so that right there, you know, once again, I don't think we'd be able to see that on the camera, but I'm starting to see a little bit of like separation between the grains. Okay. In the the espresso, looking like more you can see that, right? granular. Yeah. yeah, and you can kind of see like the flecks of the lighter. Right, the yeah. chaff in mm -hmm. there, which you know the the crema wave is a specialty grade coffee. It's it's all mm -hmm. arabica, so you're going to get a little bit of that in there. Usually, Real. when I see that, it's a good sign for <laughs> flavor. <laughs> right. No, it's yeah. So let's do another cooling cooling flush. Looks pretty good, but fingers crossed this one's good. So let's. Let's weigh the output on this one again. Awesome. And I'm going to step aside. There hey. we go. But now I went too far. Is it look a little fast? It's definitely yeah. fast. We got a little bit of a gusher, as I like to call it. Yeah. And so we're going to stop it right about there. So now so we're getting closer, we're going to make smaller but adjustments. But that's 19 seconds, so mm -hmm. honestly, like, that's a little shorter than what we typically say, but I mean, Mark, you got that, right? Look at, look at the crema on that. Yeah. That's unbelievable. It's, I mean, it's almost equal parts crema <laughs> to, to espresso. <laughs> yeah, it point. is. And that's, yeah. no, I mean, like, this would still be a servable shot, although yeah. still not within our range. We, we typically do want it to be Especially this coffee, somewhere between 25 and 30. Right. So what would we do then? We would adjust it a little bit coarser. Uh, I'm sorry, finer, because <laughs> it was fast. <laughs> right, right. No, that's... Yeah. Yeah, we did. And I always say, coarser. you know, if you've, if you've watched any of, my th any of my stuff, I always say taste your mistakes. Uh, yeah. you got to know what it tastes like when it is a 19-second shot, because then it'll help you understand better when you get a good shot. Oh, that's th that was that note I was getting on that fast shot. Mm -hmm. It kind of zipped around my tongue. And then you can sort of use that to build your palate about each coffee that you taste. Right. Do you want to do this one? Sure. So we're, how, you know, if we were at 19 seconds, okay. right there, and I moved it that far, I say we could move it maybe Maybe we three do, sixteenths. Yeah, we want to do a smaller adjustment now because we're getting close to where we're in the ballpark. That's right. And we want to purge a little bit first. Purge a little bit. And then and then we're good. Any more questions there, Ellie? Yeah. Um, Daniel would like to know, how does the grinder deal with more oily roasts? And would you recommend a specific type of roast for this grinder or just clean it more often? This, you know, this is a wonderful, wonderful, wonderful question. Um, Don't mind me running the grinder while we're no, doing no. this. No, okay. no. I, I certainly hope you can hear me. I'll stand away from the grinder. But yeah, Missy, that looks great. So, so what, we're, what I would suggest is, um, you know, an oily bean would work just fine. Uh, if th this isn't, you know, like a, like a gaja machine where it could easily clog. Um, you know, we can go, we can adjust this however we want. Still, a uh, more oily, darker roast bean is going to potentially gum up the grinder a little bit faster. Uh, and it's not going to be a huge issue, if, it, but as you said, cleaning it more often is probably what you're going to need to do. Uh, you know, as, as many times as I say this, uh, and I mean it every time, use the coffee that tastes good to you. 
Yeah. Uh, you know, no matter, you, you're gonna, you're gonna, there's millions of different roasts of coffee out there in the world and you can buy them. I'm gonna move out of the way. Yeah. You can buy them and you can have them shipped right to your home. I mean, from other countries even. Yeah. And At the end of the day, it's what tastes good. Right. Yeah. And, you know, if you keep looking around, you maybe you'll find like a local roaster somewhere that really does coffees that you like. And so you can start buying from them more often and saying, I like what this company does. I'm going to keep getting it. And so, you know, you can go dark. You can go light. Any coffee would be just fine in this as long as you take the time to dial it in. It's looking still a little fast, it looks yeah. like. But not, not fast. but but better, better. Right? Yeah. Honestly, like and, and you even stopped it just a touch early, so mm -hmm. that probably would have gotten all the way to 23, 24 seconds. But my, my Mark, yeah. did you get that crema? Did you get that crema? I mean look at that. I mean that has I unfortunately that's it doesn't really have too much to do with the the grinder as much as it does the espresso that we're using. Yeah. But holy mackerel. Very awesome crema I on mean, that. Buckets of crema as well. Buckets of crema. So we need to adjust it, probably just a touch finer. Probably just a touch. And and I mean, we're there, really. Yeah, now we'll start. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> You're right now. <laughs> we're just gonna a walk in dance. circles. Right. Play musical chairs. Any other questions, Ellie? No? That's lovely. You know? Yeah, the the right. ones that we've gotten, I've really enjoyed. I know. So, you know. And, and, you know, and we, we don't want Ellie to come all the way to this side of the building to, to do nothing. <laughs> so. Okay, where are we? Not to give away too here? much about the ge geography and the, <laughs> the layout of our of the building. There. Yeah. But okay, yeah. so I'm going to do maybe just, eh, just a hair. Maybe like a sixteenth or an eighth? Yeah. I think each, wh when you're down in the lower numbers, it's like... <laughs> There's, I think there's 16 divisions. And so yeah, purge it out. I, I usually say purge about a shot. So like purge about like 20 grams out between each one. Mm -hmm. That'll really clear out the grinding chamber. Awesome. And grinders, as we've, and I think I said this earlier, but like grinders, especially new out of the box, can be very temperamental to start. Um, and you're going to need to put the time in. You're going to need to grind it a little bit and dial it in a little bit every day. Yeah. I think this grinder reminds me just a little bit of my old uh, Rocky that I had, Ranchilio Rocky. This is kind of like a, just, it's, it has the collar, you know, it's very uh, heavy duty. Seems like it's, I have my Rocky for a really long time. Uh, I still have a rocket. Yeah, yeah, see? I don't use it, but I, I yeah. do have it. I ended up uh, giving mine to a friend because it just it kept running, and I was ready to uh, buy a new grinder. So, there you go. Yeah. No. So, yeah, definitely but this, good, but, heavy but just duty. To, just to clarify, the Rocky and this grinder are not even in the same league. The, 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 the grind quality that you're going to get out of this grinder far surpasses anything you're going to get out of the Rocky. The Rocky, yeah. I don't know what your experience was, but yeah. very clumpy. Mm -hmm. uh, you, you have to, to break up those, those boulders Did you guys see that? I had my puck all prepped and went to go push this. Oh, like geez. as if I'm making espresso This is there. the espresso machine and the grinder. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. But no, this is, I'm optimistic on this one. Okay. Let's do it. Here we go. We're gonna get it dialed in. Oh yeah! I I, I can tell you already. It's that's, looking that's the good. One. That's a winner. Winner, winner, chicken dinner. But yeah, it's just this process of uh, of adjusting your grind size, and that's the only variable that we changed. We kept our our tamp the same. Uh, we used the leveler and the tamper on all of it um, each time. So yeah. Right. And there you go. That one's right within spec. I'm going to drink it. Oh, if yeah. that's okay. Please go ahead. Tell me what you think. I should have stirred it because that's <laughs> like the fancy way to do it. You right. stir the crema in there. Tastes really good. Yeah. No. And, and what she said was right. When you're dialing in uh, initially, the best thing to do is to like level out 
which, which variables you want to change. Because obviously we could have changed the dose. We could have changed a lot of other aspects of the mm -hmm. preparation. We could have changed the pressure on the machine, honestly. Yeah. Uh, or the temperature of the machine. Mm -hmm. But like, you want to isolate the variables that you're changing. So in this case, what we isolated was grind size. Yep. And then after you get within that ballpark, then you can kind of play around with, with dosing, you can play around with temperatures, you can do all that. And yeah. that's, that's the joy of coffee. And with your puck prep, when you're dialing in, if we were gonna use um, the leveler, then we wanna make sure that we're using that each time. Right. Um, right. So we would wanna use the leveler and the tamper each time if that's what we're planning on using. Otherwise, if you're just using the tamper, then just use that and continue to do that. Um, we're always looking for a nice even tamp. So mm -hmm. we had this so we could put the Porta filter on a nice even surface right. because if I were to do it like this, it's a, it's fairly even, right. but it's not going to be perfect. It'll be easier to kind of right. get a wonky uh, tamp. Yeah. So it is sort of a, an angled Porta filter, but it's almost angled too much. Yeah. But yeah, so it, it, you know, you'd rather go straight down than mm -hmm. at an angle. So yeah. One last check of questions there? No? Nope. Yeah, I'd say we got this dialed in. Well, yeah. I'd, it was mostly you, honestly. I, I, I did the heavy lifting. Shots. Just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> no, but thank you so much for watching. I, I, I want to mention some quick housekeeping items. Uh, subscribe to our channel. My gosh, we're going to do a lot more of these. Mm -hmm. uh, and we've got, you know, our, you know, per, per, ah, our edited and good reviews. Not good reviews, but these are good reviews as well yeah but our edited reviews these are, are more unboxing so, initial yeah. setup and then right. we've also got like our full machine reviews right. um we've got our support videos on the youtube channel as well right. uh, tons of great resources right. for you yeah and you can go to our website and sign up for a coffee cast too if you if, you if you'd like to yep yeah. um coffee cast is going to be at the top of the website you can click on that banner and then schedule um and then choose any machine or grinder We'd be happy to demo for demo it for you in the studio. Right, great service, free, one-on-one uh, -on -one product demo of pretty much everything we carry. So that's that's lovely. And you know, if we went over a lot of details on this grinder, but if you if you do need more, like you can always go to our website and pull up the E5 Pro, mm -hmm. and it will. We've got a full list of specifications for that product there, and you can even do comparisons and contrast with other grinders that we carry. It's very useful, and you know, you can check the description of this video for uh, the vid uh, other relevant videos like the, our full review of this as well as you know some dialing in videos that Mark made that, thank goodness, uh, very useful. Yeah. But uh, I think that just about does it. So, Missy. Signing off. Thanks, thanks for coming and thanks drinking an espresso here in the early afternoon. And, yeah, uh, I'll be up all night. <laughs> oh my gosh, oh my gosh. Yeah, <laughs> but uh, thank you so much for watching and uh, check back soon for more of the best on everything coffee.